How's that? Yeah. Okay. She's on assignment. Yeah. Thanks. I worked in the development end and the creative end, and Craig works on the stage, you know, on the actual production end. So even though we may have worked on the same movie, we didn't work together. The, the first time that we've started collaborating, really working together, is on Hollywood at Home. You know, I don't work for the station. I just come in and, and hang out and pretend that I'm her manager. I'm an English major, and I feel like I'm in some ways a better writer than she is. She does her own research, she writes her own scripts, and then, just like any author does, she hands the manuscript over to the editor, and I'm the editor. He, he does, he does fact-checking, he does, he makes, he, he reworks it, he rewrites it, sends it to me, I do some more tweaking. And it works out quite well. I'll just give her little notes on performance. My first two years of college were on the East Coast, I didn't enjoy that, so I wanted to stay a little closer to the West and U of A seemed like a good fit. Within about three weeks of being here, I said, this, this is it. When I graduated from college with a degree in English and went back home to Los Angeles, I needed a job, and I needed to get started on my career because I was 26 years old already. I started in the film industry because I went to a party. <laughs> I went to a party and I met Ron Howard. There's a lot to be said for it. The money was good. I got to travel all over the world and work. By the time I actually got into the Directors Guild, I had a reputation. Almost from that point forward, people would call me. I got a job offer for a television movie that was going to Vancouver, and I said yes. I was the assistant to the producer. It was actually on a Ron Howard produced movie, TV movie. I came in for my first day of work during preparation, which was in Los Angeles. And there she was at the desk, and, and um, I asked her if there was coffee, and she said, um, not yet. And I said, well, where's the machine? I'll go make it. I looked at him and thought, this is pretty good. <laughs> I was like, ding. <laughs> I could see her eyes get wide. Being an AD is a very high pressure job. and. I just didn't want it anymore. And so he had an investment house here, and he said, well, you want to move? I said, yeah. I had moved here, didn't know anybody, and I saw this little thing in the paper about a series of films that were screening at the university, and I thought, well, it might be something to do. And it had a little thing that says, for more information, call. And somebody says, hello? Uh, um, hello? <laughs> And it was the head of the Hanson Film Institute. Once I sort of stammered out what I was looking for, she said, yeah, yeah, here's the, you know, so who are you? And I learned her extensive background of working in the industry in Hollywood, and then I learned about her husband's extensive background, working as an assistant director training. So I realized immediately that they were valuable assets, potentially to the Hanson Film Institute. It just snowballed from there with smaller scale stunts. which Some of the students had actually suggested to the faculty that they'd like to have a real course in AD work. So I created a course and, and, and I taught it. Part of what it informed me was that I really like doing guest lectures and mentoring. It's taking time. I do think that Craig's AD training seminar has really helped students understand how a set is run professionally and I think that the way they've run their own sets has improved. I'm always available to the department, to the school, to do whatever they ask me to do. Here at the Hanson Film Institute, we're very grateful uh, that Victoria Lucas and Craig Houston are Hanson Fellows, and we really value their, their, their gifts of time and expertise.